Hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for February 4th. This is the rune Tewaz. Now, Tewaz is the rune of movement. It is the rune of movement and mirroring that in this reading we have this eight of wands which is also all about movement if you look at the traditional writer tarot deck it's like little pew, 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 eight wands being thrown through the air like through amazons or by amazons or something like wonder woman so in this particular reading what we're talking about or the way that i see it is this space of fear still we're in this space of kind of making fun of ourselves, kind of being upset with ourselves. And again, I do these readings and I always say they're for me first. This one is definitely for me, y'all. <laughs> so I'm sorry I have to share it with you guys, but evidently many of us are on the same cycle of, uh, of uh, you know, development. So this Knave of Cups speaks about having amazing ideas and, you know, coming up with all these, uh, this inspiration and whatnot. You can see he's got like a little pen here and all these amazing ideas coming up out of his cup. But the Knave of Swords reversed is kind of like, um, why are you bothering to do this? You are all talk, no action. You don't follow through on things. You're never going to finish. You're never going to do it. You're never da 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 right? So this Knave of Swords is really speaking about that fear of not creating, that fear of not making something happen, that space where you're kind of thinking like, why do I bother? Why do I bother? Because I keep breaking my own heart over and over again. I keep hurting myself over and over again because I don't follow through. This is connected to your past. The Six of Cups often speaks about Something from your past coming back, something being offered, a person coming back. I, I really feel like it's talking about this place of self-doubt and fear where you're hurting yourself and where you are kind of making fun of yourself and beating yourself up because you think you're all talking no action. This is a difficult place to be in. It's going to be a space that's going to hurt, but... I want you to look at it closely. I'm going to look at it closely. Why these feelings keep coming up over and over again and what we can do to counter them. Because even when we know that they're not true or even when we know that that's not a reason to judge. So yes, I come up with ideas over and over again, but no, I don't always follow through on them. That doesn't mean that everything that I do is going to be like that. It doesn't mean that everything is going to be something that I don't follow through on unless I start to believe it, unless I start to buy into it. And I think that this movement card is saying that this is the direction that we're going in unless you actually follow through or unless you stop judging yourself for not following through. Of course, whatever your um, situation is, is going to be individual to you. But it's really about beating ourselves up for whatever we're doing or not doing. That's what this Knave of Swords reversed and the Knave of Cups upright to me says. Is that, yes, you may have a lot of good ideas, but you don't always follow through on them. And you can judge yourself for that. You can look at it and try to fix it. Or you can accept that that's just the way that things are and follow through on something different. Maybe the things you didn't follow through on are things that are not supposed to be followed through on yet. We don't know. You don't know unless you think about it, unless you sit down, unless you really self, self examine and be aware of your own mindset in these things. You are beloved. You matter and you are so loved.